it's Mix Wilson. I'm here to show you how to make a project in code.org. Specifically, we'll be working on Unit 3, Lesson 13, Make an Animated Scene. I'll show you how to choose or make your animations, create sprites, code shaky motion, that's using the random number block, and smooth motion using the counter pattern. Finally, I'll show you how to add text. Feel free to pause this video at any time to work along. Here I am in code.org lesson 13. I've got a plan for my scene in mind. I want to have a farm scene background with a sun in the middle doing shaky rotational movement and a rain cloud gliding smoothly over it, covering the sun as it passes. Let's make that a reality. First, we click the animation tab in the upper left corner. As you can see, I've already added some sprites, some sprite animations. The way you'll do that is by clicking this plus, new animation. You can choose an animation that code.org already has, or you can also draw your own. You click new animation and draw your own. You, you can see that you can also upload images from the internet. Notice the name that your animations have, and then it's time for coding. Click the code tab in the upper left. All right, we've chosen or made our animations. Now we're going to create the sprites. Creating the sprites um, will always happen before the green draw loop. So we go to the red sprites drawer in the toolbox and drag out the first two code blocks. This one creates the sprite and gives it a name, and this one sets the animation. We always want to rename the variable sprite to something more helpful than sprite. I'm going to call my background farm, and I'm going to set its animation to farmland. I'm going to do the same thing with sun and rain cloud. Variable sun creates a sprite in the middle of the screen and sun.setAnimation to sun1. Same thing for rain. I named the picture I drew rain, so that makes it nice and easy to know which to select. Now, if I click Run, nothing's going to happen. It'll only show up if we have the yellow draw sprites block showing. So you can check your work there. All right. I'm going to add some breaks in my text for readability. That looks a little nicer. And when I checked this by putting draw sprites, I realized that I want my rain cloud a little bigger. I want it to cover the sun when it's in the center of the screen. To make a sprite bigger or smaller, go to the red sprites drawer of the toolbox and use sprite.scale. Rain.scale. I want it bigger, so I'm going to pick a number bigger than one like say three. Woohoo! Okay, perfect. Now, let's choose the starting location for our sprites before we animate them. I want the sun to be right in the middle and I have that, but I want my rain cloud to start far off screen. So I'm gonna set the X value to something negative. Uh, let's try negative 100. You can just see it poking through there. I'm going to make it a little bit more negative so you can't see it at all when the, when the program starts. Cool. There's the start of my program. We have chosen our animations and created our sprites. Now let's code shaky motion using the random number block. I want my sun to be rotating kind of shakily. Anytime you want your sprites to be moving, we're going to use the green drawing block which is in the yellow world tab of the toolbox. Just to show that one more time in the yellow world tab of the toolbox, I click the green function box and drag it out to the workspace. All right. I want to have the rotation property of the sun be changing all the time. So I do sun.rotation gets a random number from 1 to 10. This should make the rotation of the sun 
pick random numbers between 0 and 10. Let's see what happens. Nothing. What did we forget to do? Draw the sprites. In the yellow world area, put a draw sprites block inside the function draw loop. And let's see what happens. Aw, oh, yes. Cool. I want my sun to have a little bit more rotation. I'm going to have it rotate between negative 10 degrees and 10 degrees. Whoa. Play around with these numbers to find the rotation that you want. All right. Now I need to, now I want to animate the smooth motion using the counter pattern. And I want to make my rain cloud move smoothly across the screen. All right. To move in the left right direction, I'll use dot X. And I want to be changing the X property of the rain cloud. So I make it rain dot X gets. I'm going to do a plus. I go to the orange math drawer of the toolbox and do a plus. And then I put the same property that I have here again. So I'm going to do rain.x again. Rain.x. I'll do plus two. What this should do is tell the program to update the x property of the rain sprite by adding two each time. So every time this loop is executed, the rain cloud will be two more further to the right. Let's check it out. <gasps> yes! My vision is coming to fruition! Cool. So we've animated shaky animation and we've animated smooth animation. Finally, let's add some text. I want to show you that you can add text to this just by putting the text commands inside of the green function draw loop. Text options are in the blue drawing drawer of the toolbox. And we want to put them after the draw sprites block because um, one of our sprites is the background. There's our text super small in the middle, in the corner. I'm going to say, uh, we put what we want our text to say here. It's rain time. And choose our starting location. I want it to, I want it to be at about y equals maybe 100. And for its x location, I want it to kind of follow the rain cloud. So I'm going to have something similar to, I'm going to take rain.x. What this should do is make the text's x location update as the cloud's x location updates. Let's see. Oh, we are so close. Do you see that cute little text? OK, let's see. I'm going to do rain.x and subtract a little bit from that, maybe, let's say, 50. And make the text bigger by putting text size above text. And make the text blue. And let's see what we get. Oh, yes. It's rain time. I'm happy with that. If you want to adjust anything, you can. If you want to make that cloud move faster, you can. Wow, so many options. So, that's it. Today we've chosen animations, created sprites, coded shaky motion, coded smooth motion, and added text. Great job. I cannot wait to see the projects you make and your creativity. Take care.